Hey, thanks for checking out um, Derek Billen and Coden. In this um, tutorial, I'm going to do a real fast um, tutorial on how to do billing and coding in less than 15 minutes. Actually, we might actually we might do less than 10 minutes. Let's see. All right, so this is a book, um, a 2010 edition that I'm going to use. Um, obviously, it's ICD-9. Um, ICD-9 stands for International Classification of Diseases. And if you're watching this, I'm, I'm assuming you probably know that already. Uh, the 9 means it's the 9th edition, and CM means clinical modification. I um, mean, the intent for um, ICD-9 was beyond just categorizing um, mortality and uh, morbidity. All right, so this is the hospital edition because it contains both volumes 1, 2, and also 3 as well. All right, and this is a, this is a pretty popular um, uh, publisher. Uh, so if you ever seen, if you use this one as well, you shouldn't have any issue. So how do you do coding? All right, so again, the first understanding is that we have three volumes, one, two, and three. Now, this book has some general information that begins off with. So it's some things in the beginning that starts, these are another's anatomy. Um, you don't have to know this or read this to know the book. Obviously, it's just for instructional and, you know, to look good as well. And also, probably so they can charge more for the book. But don't say that. Okay. All right, so at the beginning of uh, the book and most of the general books, you will have guidelines, which are at the very beginning. The guidelines show you how to use the book. Now you can go through the guidelines, you learn all you need to do about learn. But as far as we go, we're not going to use that, so because we're doing this, and we, at least we're trying to do this in less than 10 minutes. So the way this book is arranged, it begins off with volume two, goes to volume one, and then volume three. Now that may sound weird, but the reason why volume two comes first is because volume two is the alphabetical index specifically for volume one. That's why it comes first. And it's also easier to use and easier to um, get through. So let's begin off. So um, let's say we have, I want to first go through the volumes, just show you the general section so that you have a decent understanding. So the alphabetical index categorizes disease from A all the way to Z, right? Obviously, right? Categorize them from A all the way down to Z. Uh, between A and Z, what we have here are we have two special um, sections. Specifically, these are known as, uh, let's see if I can get you a better look of it. All right, the first one here is the hypertension chart. That's the first special supplemental section of this book. The next special item is the neoplasm. All right, so whenever you're looking for cancers and tumors, this is a section that you want to come to. All right. Beyond that, it's just a bunch of more disease and categorization of uh, illnesses. So you can skip through that and go all the way to the end of that alphabet, which is obviously Z. Once you end off with the alphabet A to Z, you have a special section here called the Table of Drugs and Chemicals. Right? Table of Drugs and Chemicals contains all the um, chemicals, essentially, that you have to worry about. Um, so whenever individuals poison, what we do is we come into this section and we use a code from this section. All right? All right, so beyond the table of drugs and chemicals, let's get to our next section. Now, it probably would have been easy if I kept different tabs, and some books actually will give you different tabs, so you can actually go through tabs as opposed to what I'm doing, which is flipping one at a time. But that's also to show you that we can do this in 10 minutes. Um, anyway, so beyond the table of drugs and chemicals, you now have this section. This is the external uh, cause of injury, or specifically the E-codes. And right? E-codes describe any external causes of injuries. All right, so let's go to the E codes. The E code also will be arranged from A all the way to the end of alphabet. Uh, it doesn't go to Z though, it adds end off at W, which happens to be war operations in this sense. Um, right, wound, wrong, wrong. So I was wrong, and the last one is wrong. It's not the camera, it's not focusing, it's the actual table of surface where this thing is laying. And right, it's laying on the table, and you know, it's not very focused. Not to mention I'm moving back and forth because I want to get you in less than 10 minutes. All right, so once you get past everything to our left now, it can be considered part of the um, first section that we just talked about. Now, volume one. Volume one category, whatever code you find in volume two, we come here into volume one to confirm the code. The volume one codes range from 001, as you can see, um, which is the first section, 
right? Zero, zero, 001, and specifically this section is the infectious disease and parasitic diseases, all right? And the first section of it is the cholera. So the category here is zero, zero, 001, cholera code. And I'll come back to um, categories and subcategories in a few minutes. But anyway, so this is divided into 17 individual chapters. You can look at it from this side. You can look at it from here. You can also look at it on the sides to see the range of the code. In this case, again, 001 all the way to 139. Aside from that, you can also look at, at the very top. So you have many areas of reference. You can look at the very top. You can look on the side, and it will generally give you the range of where you're supposed to be. All right. So let's say that we wanted to go past all of this. We wanted to go to the end of 99. All you do is just simply flip. And we can see that we are now in the section that will give us to, um, or we're in the category code that will give us to 99. And just like we said, the very last code you happen to have here for this book, for this old edition anyway, and let me zoom out on that, is 9. 9.9. Not sure why it's taking this camera so long to focus, but anyway. Um, so that will be the end of the 99 general section. After that, you begin the actual, you begin B code, right? The B code are a very special section. These are known as encounter codes, right? Specifically encounters that may influence your health status. So whenever you come for any sort of, um, whenever you have an encounter, but you're not necessarily sick or um, you can use a V code, all right? So we'll be talking about somebody's history, you're talking about individual um, status and so on and so forth, you can use a V code, all right? So let's go past the V code and to the last section here, all right? To the E code, all right? So earlier on, we saw the index for the E code and now these are the actual E codes. So whatever code you found here, let's say for instance, while we were back in the E code index, or even in the uh, table of drugs and chemicals, let's say we find an E code for E A52.0, we will have to come to this section of the book to confirm it. And as you can see, it ranges from E00 all the way to E999. All right, so let's go to the end of the E code so we can get into the appendices. All right, now there are five different appendices, appendix A, B, C, and D. All right, appendix A categorizes um, morphology, specifically the neoplasm. All right, so this is the categorization for neoplasm. You, as a coder, likely will not have to worry too much about this section. Uh, this is more mainly for our cancer registry. All right. So that's Appendix A. Appendix B is no longer in use. It's been deleted since 2004. But there is a reminder when you get here that, yes, Appendix B has been deleted. Appendix C, all right, classification of drugs. All right. So this may be used by pharmaceuticals, excuse me, by pharmacies. Um, and then we have Appendix D, which is going to categorize industrial accidents. So if you are run over by your own, uh, well, let's say a truck or something like that, that, that may be found here. You cut your hand while at work, all right? And then lastly, Appendix E. Right, so that will close off the appendices and that effectively closes off our volume one. Now, if you work in a hospital, uh, specifically if you are working for inpatient coding, then your coding may go beyond uh, one volumes one and two, you may find yourself at volume three. Volume three is essentially a self um, self enclosed book because it has its own index and then it has its own codes as well. All right. So that is the book overview of the entire book. Now let's see if I can show you quickly how to find whatever it is that you're looking for. So let's say I was looking for. Um, arthritis. Specifically, let's say I'm looking for biogenic arthritis. My first job would be to go into the index and I'm looking for my main term. My main term, your main term, is going to be the disease, the illness, the injury, and so on and so forth. In this case, the main disease is arthritis. So, since I'm already in A, let's look for AR and arthritis. I apologize, but we uh, we ran out of battery on the other camera, so I had to pick up another camera. Um, but we are still going to make our 15-minute 
time mark, I believe. All right, so anyway, we were looking for arthritis. Um, we decided we were looking for pyogenic arthritis, so we located arthritis, and then underneath arthritis, we were looking for pyogenic. All right. So, um, and I believe we found the code. The code that it gave us was, let me just locate that one more time, right there. Yeah, okay. It gave us 710, uh, excuse me, 711.0. So let's go find 711.0. So in order to do this, we're going to go into the other section of the book, or specifically, we're going to go into volume one. All right. Flip over. And again, you can always look at the top, look on the sides as well. And in this case, uh, 709, so we have some more to go. And here we have 711.0. Now, early on, I, so I told you that I was going to mention what a category is, what a subcategory is, and what a subclassification is. Well, essentially, if you're looking at this code here, 711 is the category code. That's the three digit category codes, right? The zero here, 711.0, the zero here represents a subcategory. And underneath the subcategory, right, well, next to 711, there's a hexagon. The hexagon is telling us that we're going to need a fifth digit, right? In this case, the fifth digit is going to range from zero to nine. So we look at our blue box where the 0 to 9 is located, 0 all the way to 9. And then we just have to find 0 to 9. The 0 to 9, this is our fifth digit, and this is our subclassification. In this case, since I didn't mention what area the um, arthritis was, we we're going to say we're going to stick with 0. So our general code would be, or our complete code, I should say, is going to be 711.00, pyogenic arthritis of an unspecified site. And that's all there is to this. Now, <clears throat> let's do the other two sections so that you can also have a good idea um, of the things that you might run into because I think we still have some time. All right, the other things that I mentioned are two special sections, um, supplemental sections or hypertension. So if we're looking for hypertension, um, we will be looking for whether it's hypertension with or hypertension due to. And as you can see, it gives us all the different categories of hypertension with chronic kidney disease or heart involvement and so on and so forth. Right. And now uh, let's say we're looking for neoplasm, same thing, if we're looking for cancer, let's say we're looking for cancer of the liver. Well, we'll come into neoplasm section. Now be careful here because a lot of times people fall for these general items here. So we are looking at ileum, right? So that means we are only in um, I and J, we're looking for liver. Right. So let's keep flipping. Right. And over here I see we have um, low L O, and that means we already passed L I, right? And if you can see, this just works just like a dictionary. So let me just look on the bottom here, and we'll find liver. Now, once you locate liver, we go to the right, and we're going to figure out which kind of liver that, uh, cancer this is. So let's say this was a primary uh, cancer. I right, said so all we have to do is locate liver. And we find that liver is here. We go to the right. And as far as the neoplasm, it is a primary. That means our code here would be 155.2. And that's how that works. All right. Simple as that. Now, let's say if we wanted to find someone who overdosed on cocaine, all we have to do is locate the table of drugs and chemicals, which is right after um, the last Z. We talked about that already. Okay. So all we have to do is locate actual code for cocaine and here it tells us that uh, and I depend on which book you use if you're using a new book the the code is going to be different here but anyway so what first thing we do is we code the poisoning code which in this case is 970.8 and then we find out the reason for the poison that is what the E code is for right? it's used to summarize any external cause of um, injury and in this case the external cause of this poisoning would be let's say it was suicide attempt right so we just go across to be matched up with suicide. In this case, it gives us E950.4. And so that's how the coding will go. Of course, you have to verify these codes, make sure that they are exactly what they say. And also, they might point you to code additional items. For instance, the cocaine, being a drug, is going to ask you to likely code whether the person is dependent or non-dependent. 
All right, so that's how that section will work. All right, so that is um, coding in a nutshell, or at least ICD-9 coding. Um, the volume three you're not going to do because it's essentially the same as the self-contained book. It has the appendix and it has own uh, index, just like, excuse me, it has own index and also a um, list of codes as well. So everything is essentially the same. All right, if you have any questions, obviously let me know. Um, but that is coding, or at least ICD-9 coding uh, at a glance.